Good day, viewers. Welcome to Second Math Hub, the solution to your math problems. We are still on Ghana teacher and sanctuary exams. We are solving past questions on numerous April 2024. Question 28. Each worker in the whole and pando branches of the same company is to contribute an equal amount towards an orphanage fundraising. There are 50 and 40 workers respectively in the whole and pando branches. So let's represent the number of workers in each branch. So for the whole branch, we have 50 workers. And then for the pando branch, there are 40 workers. Now, if a total amount of 6,000 Ghana cities was realized at the whole branch, if a total amount of 6,000 Ghana cities was realized at the whole branch, what total amount will be realized by the Pando branch? So we can set up ratio and proportion here. Now, we, were, we are told that 6,000 Ghana cities was the total amount realized in the whole branch. So for the whole branch, we have 50 workers. So 50 workers is to the total number of, or the total amount realized at the whole branch, which is 6,000 Ghana cities. And then for the Pando branch, there are 40 workers. So let's represent the total amount realized at the Pando branch with a variable. So I'm representing the total amount as A. Now, you can see that there is a direct proportion here. Because if um, 50 workers are paying 6,000 Ghana cities, then 40 workers will also pay an amount which is less than the 6,000 Ghana cities. So there is a direct proportion. You can see that as the number of workers increases, the total amount they contribute will also increase. On the other hand, as the number of workers decreases, it also cause a corresponding decrease in the total amount to be contributed. So since uh, it's a direct proportion, you can set up an equation. So 50 is to 6,000 must be equal to 40 is to A. Now 50 is to 6,000 can also be written as 50 out of 6,000. And then 40 is to A can also be written as 40 out of A. At this point, you can cross multiply. So 50 times A, we have 50 A. And then 6,000 times 40. During the exams, calculators are allowed. So I will encourage you to use the calculator. So 6,000 times 40, 240,000. We are looking for A, so we can divide both sides by 50. So 50 will cancel out, leaving A is equal to 240,000 divided by 50. And this is giving us 4,800. Since we are looking for amount, we need to include the unit. So that should be... 4,800 Ghana cities. So looking at the alternatives, the right answer should be option C. I hope you enjoyed this episode. See you next time. Bye.